Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a chest and back workout. Yes, it's gonna be a combo workout. The way the workout is structured, you're gonna be working for 45 seconds and you're gonna get a 15 second break. So let's get right into it. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get all my notifications and never miss a single update from me. We are going to start with chest press. Come into standing, feet hip width apart, remain there the entire time of the workout, keeping the hands bent out to the side of your body. Bring them in front of your chest with your palms facing each other and then extend them out to the side. Push-up to side plank. Get into your standard push-up position with your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Lower your body as one unit until your chest nears the floor. As you come up, shift your weight on the left side of the body, twist to the side while bringing the right arm straight up towards the ceiling to a side plank. Lower the arms back to the floor for another push-up and twist to the other side. Repeat by alternating each side. Prayer push-up and chest fly. Lie on your back with your knees bent at 90 degrees, hands in prayer position. Press hands together and up over your head, then return and bring them in front of your chest. From here, extend the arms out to the sides, keeping the elbows soft. Pull the wrists away from each other out to the side to a T. Control the range of motion, stopping it before your elbows hit the floor, then bring them back to the front onto a prayer and repeat. Push up side to side. Start in a high plank position, your hands just underneath your shoulders. Keep your body in one straight line and your core is strong. From this position, lower your arms as low as you can. Push yourself back up onto a high plank, then step your hands to the right. Perform another push up, back to the center, push up, step to the left, another push up, so on and so forth. Skull Crusher. Begin by lying flat on the mat with knees bent and feet firmly planted on the floor, palms facing up, and raise your hands over your chest. While keeping your upper arms and elbows still, lower your palms in an arc behind your head. Raise them up back to the starting position by extending your arm and pressing up with your triceps. Repeat the movement for 45 seconds.
Close Crypt Chest Press. Begin by lying flat on the mat with knees bent and feet firmly planted on the floor. Extend elbows to a 90 degree angle position, triceps resting on the floor while clasping your hands. Use your chest to push the arms up towards the ceiling so that your arms are directly over your shoulders and your palms are up. Hold for a second and then begin lowering the arms down. Side to side, stand tall, keep your back straight, hips facing forward with your arms bent in front of your chest. Stretch your right arm out horizontally to your side, keeping the left bent and then extend your left arm out horizontally to your side, keeping the right bent. Repeat this back and forth motion, alternating the arms. L arms. Stand tall, raise and extend both your arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Keep your right arm up and extend the left out to the side, forming an L shape with your arms and alternate the motion. Prayer push-up. Stand tall with feet shoulder width apart, hands in a prayer position. Press your hands together, your forearms remain together as well, and up to the sky, then return. T raises. Stand with feet hip width apart, take a slight bend in your knees, shift your hips back and lower your torso until it's parallel to the floor. Bring your arms together and turn palms to face forward, keeping your arms straight. Lift the arms up to your shoulder height then lower back down. Make sure to keep the core and glutes engaged the entire time.
Plank stroke. Start in a high plank with your palms directly below your shoulders, feet slightly wider than hip width apart, keeping hips as still as possible. Lift your right arm up to the front onto shoulder height, then extend it out laterally. Return to center, then lift the left arm up to the front onto shoulder height, then extend it out laterally. Draw your belly button up and in and keep your body centered the entire time. Last exercise, you guys, is the twister. Squat into a chair position with hands in prayer pose in front of your chest. Twist your torso to the right while remaining in a chair pose and place the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. The other elbow should be pointing to the ceiling. Hold, then return to the center. Repeat on the other side. Thank you so much for working out with me today guys. I hope you guys will enjoy this workout. I know there's no equipment required on this one, but you can definitely feel the burn. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get all my notifications and never miss a single update from me. Until the next workout video, bye bye.